everyone. Band meeting at the podium. All right, all right. Well, here's the thing. I'm still sick. This is unbelievable. I know. I was sick last week. I was sick a little bit of the week before that. And now I'm still a little bit sick. I was sick through the weekend. I think it's turned into some kind of weird sinus infection. Now, here's what's bothering me. All right. All right. We've got some dates in Canada at the end of the week. Oh, that's right. Right. So I'm going to the doctor tomorrow. What if he says you can't fly? <laughs> Are you, am, am I going to disappoint Canadians? Well, it looks like... Any, it be... any more than yeah, they right, already right, are? Right, disappoint? right. Well, it'll just be me and the horse, I guess. I didn't know he was coming. Well, he will if you're not. <laughs> so you could just do my... I guess you probably could do the act by now, couldn't you? How does it start again? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. I'm right here, man. And I, I do... <laughs> I like it when he laughs and I can hear yeah, it inside his head. Yeah. Yeah. Have you ever had a sinus infection? Uh, when I had a nose, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, right. What about you? Yeah, oh, you must have had some real... Oh, yeah. I mean, because there's, what, about a yard of nose there. Does that mean you've got a very big... Um... Okay. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> well, horses, you know. Famously. Yeah, I understand. Famously. Anyway, so there's a lot of pressure here. And, uh, and so maybe I'll have to go and have plastic surgery. You should talk about all this during the monologue. No. <laughs> no, I, I, the monologue I'm excited to talk about other things other than me being ill. Oh, yeah. Like how excited the audience will be to see me. Oh, that'll be good. I'm that's predicting good. 40%. 40%, yeah. 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 <laughs> I can feel it already. <laughs> feel, feel what? You know what I'm talking about. Yeah. <laughs> This is a false hand. <laughs> you like that, don't you? I do. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be right back, everybody. We'll be right back. Ferguson, sponsored by the redesigned Kia Optima. Not your average mid-size sedan. Ladies and gentlemen, Craig Ferguson. fantastic everyone it was like 40 percent believable wasn't yeah, it really good it really, really good. felt like you really meant it and weren't just been prodded by a desperate and sweaty warm-up comedian <laughs> did you hear him it's unbelievable before man. i come out he's like oh yeah that's part of the cbs late night legacy <laughs> <laughs> what, what part like the, the same part as the the pat sajak show that's, that right. Part? that's right yeah Oh, I don't know. How are you? You all right? I'm good, man. I'm feeling good. How are you feeling, man? Still sick. Unbelievable. Uh, day, uh, week three. Week three? Yeah, I, week three sinus infections going on. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. Wow. Staggering. The sympathy is staggering. Uh, unbelievable. <laughs> it was like you could feel the indifference in waves. <laughs> like people like, we don't care how you are, make us laugh, fatty. <laughs> You say, would you say fatty? Would Make you? us laugh fatty, oh, yeah. God, okay. I call myself fatty because I was a fat child, so when I really hate myself, I call myself fatty. Ooh, it's gonna be a good show. Yeah. 
See, what I like to do when I really hate myself, I don't know if anyone could relate to this, I like to, to stand at the refrigerator in the middle of the night with my sinus infection, eat an ice cream, which I know is the wrong thing for a sinus infection. <laughs> Although I look forward to your homespun advice. And, <laughs> and I eat the ice cream and I cry gently yeah. to myself. <laughs> and I say to myself quietly, Fatty had a party and nobody... <laughs> Nobody likes fat. Only you like me, ice cream. Fatty Only had a you. party and nobody came. <laughs> Nobody's coming to your party, Fatty. And I'm like, mm, I know. And then I walk out here and I met with 40% genuine emotion. Yeah. <laughs> it's a great day for America, everybody. It is, of course, uh, Martin Luther King Day. Uh, so, uh, happy Martin... Happy, is that what you say, I guess? Uh, appropriate. Yeah, we celebrate the man. Yeah, yeah we celebrate the sure. life of the great Dr. King. Yeah, I'm doing my part as, a, as an immigrant, working while you take the rest of the day off, and <laughs> even working when I'm sick. That's how CBS, that's how they value me. If I was in hospital on a gurney, they'd be like, ooh, it's 12.37 in somebody's region. Up you get, and they would feel me here. <laughs> and prop me up in front and say, all right, fatty, have your party. Give him 40% love, everybody. Give him 40% love. It's also a great day for Prince Charles in Britain. Do you hear about this? Oh, Queen, big Queen Elizabeth is handing over a large share of her duties to, uh, to him. The Queen handed over the reins. Out of habit, uh, Prince Charles put them on his wife, Camilla, because... <laughs> yeah, the reins. Because yeah. he... Yeah. Looked... yeah, yeah. Yeah. There you are. That's one for you, big fella. Yeah, yeah, good enough. <laughs> Not such a great day for a policeman in Florida who got busted for turning his department's 911 line into an escort service. <laughs> I don't really know how you do that, but it's, I like, I rightly disapprove of it as well, everybody. <laughs> oh, that's bad. But what are you like? You dial up, you go, 911, what's your emergency? There's a fire in my pants. <laughs> I, I kind of like this idea. I don't know. What if it's a genuine emergency and an escort turns up? <laughs> I guess it would take your mind off. Yeah, it. Well, yeah. Yeah, yeah. We're only uh, a couple of weeks away from the Winter Olympics. The Russian president, Vladimir Putin, says the Olympics will be gay-friendly. <laughs> 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 That's a step in the right direction. Unfortunately, he was only talking about the biathlon. Ah! Uh, yeah, yeah. That's, that's good. Yeah, I don't think they're going to be that gay friendly. Apart from the one where they run around with a big ribbon. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Whirling dervish. It's hard to make that not gay friendly, <laughs> really. Isn't it? A man in New York just got his 140th plastic surgery. He says he will not stop until he looks like a Ken doll. Well. I know. Something tells me he has not discussed this plan with his penis. <laughs> and I tell you. Yeah. Yeah. I tell you. <laughs> I always discuss my plans with my penis. <laughs> so, you want to call 911? Sure. <laughs> I can't believe I'm still sick. It's I'm, hanging on. It's, hang it's lingering. That's what people say, lingering. It's lingering. <laughs> that, you know, I'm I, the drive to work wasn't that bad today, though, because, you know, it's a holiday. So if you, uh, if you were at work today, you know, and it, driving and it was quiet, you can thank Martin Luther King for the open roads, unless you're uh, in New Jersey and then Chris Christie's in a bad mood and then the roads were... <laughs> No good. When are you going to let that go, Craig? I don't know. <laughs> you know. Leave me alone, I'm sick. Fatty had a party. <laughs> anyway, I was reading about Dr. King today, whose life was, of course, amazing. He, he, he entered college at 15. 15! When I was 15, I was huffing paint. <laughs> Which may explain a bit of this, actually. <laughs> you know, when he was in college, Dr. King got a C in public speaking. And I'm thinking, really? <laughs> Really, who, what genius professor was behind that? You know that was some failed actor or something, wasn't it? <laughs> you know, Martin, I'm thinking it's a little too preachy. <laughs> Make it more actory and sing a little at the end. <laughs> I like that. What are you doing there with your hands? I don't know. I, it's a, Jack Benny used to do it, and he was good, so I just thought I'd try it. <laughs> it's part of the late-night legacy. <laughs> late-night legacy, yeah. <laughs> Do you know what? The, this is true. Like, I looked this up today. Uh, Dr. King uh, was the, the person who convinced Nichelle Nichols to play Uhura on Star Trek. 
I, I was shocked by that. Yeah. You're welcome, nerd, who suddenly went, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. Uh, he said that he felt the role would break new ground for African Americans on TV, and of course he was right. The first interracial kiss on television was on Star Trek between Nichelle Nichols uh, as Uhuru and William Shatner as Captain Kirk. It was the first kiss between an African American woman and a white Canadian in a toupee. Yeah. <laughs> you know, when I think about it, William Shatner had a party and plenty of people came to that. That's true, yeah. And he's had some ice cream. <laughs> Hey, hey, first of all, Bill Shatner is my friend, and he has had some ice cream. In fact, sometimes when I'm standing at the refrigerator in the middle of the night crying, I'm like, Fatty had to party and nobody came, and Bill comes up behind me and goes, what's wrong, Craig? And I'm like, Bill, your robe is open, and he's like, I know. It's very good. I painted a little scenario like there, didn't I? <laughs> yeah, all right, I'm done. I'm too sick to go on. All right, that's fine. That's it. No, I mean, that's it, the whole show. Oh, okay. <laughs> what do you want to do? You want to get out of here? I, I want to go and steam my face. You know what I've been doing? I've got, I've got this thing. It's not the neti pot. Not the neti, but it's a squirty, squirty bottle. Uh, and I get this squirty, because I had, I had the kind of flu or something last week, a cold, but now it's all in here. I'm going to the doctor tomorrow anyway. But the... Uh, Probably should have gone before. Yeah, that would have been a good idea. Yeah. Anyway, I, uh, the, this bottle, and you put a little kind of like saline thing in the water, and then you up your nose, and what, what comes out the other side? A lot of it looks like old cocaine, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, really? Yeah. That one? That's the one? Yeah. All right. Uh, we got to, uh, yeah, what right. you doing? Yeah, sure. Okay, go. More of Craig's Fatty Party after this. I'm using because of my sort of sinus infection. Sometimes I'm a lot louder than I think I'm in that up. No, that's good. That was good. That's a normal volume. That's good. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Good stuff, Craig. Very funny. You treacherous <laughs> bastard. Sometimes I think you're, uh, you're plotting to destroy me. No. <laughs> Let's try that again, maybe with some appropriate music. I think you are plotting to destroy me. No. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. What the hell, man? It's stupid. It's like, who wants to be a millionaire or something? <laughs> It was like an action film. That was no, awesome. no. It wasn't like a, oh, like a Jason Statham film. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh right, yeah. Come over here. Yeah, right, yeah. What was that one we watched where he got married to a nun? Oh man. <laughs> yeah. Oh, what was that? Guy? That was a class. Redemption. Re Something like that. Yeah, because yeah. I love Statham, but that one I was like Jason. <laughs> what was that one about? It was about two hours too long. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> I love him, because I, you know I love Statham. Yeah, he's a great guy. He's a great guy, ass. great, great actor. I love the action starness of him. I love his <laughs> unashamed boldness. But I, but I have to say, yeah. that one I was like, what's going on here, man? That was a bit of a reach. Somebody, somebody putting an extension on their house yeah. or something. All right, so I marry a nun. All right, that's fine. Yeah, I'll do it. <laughs> So what, what I do is I'll, I'll go mad and marry a nun and then everything's fine. Is that, is that, yeah, that's fine. How, how much? Yeah, I'm trying to, trying to put in a pool right now, see you there. <laughs> time is it, Jeffrey Peters. It's tweet mail time. Time to take advice from a man who had a scoop of ice cream and a cry during the break. <laughs> the hell? The bell dinged, even although I didn't ding it. The, the bell tolls for you, Craig. Is that my sinus infection? That's right, yes. I thought one day we speak German. Oh, Craig, you're speaking very loudly. Please, please. please. 
Who told me to remind you? I'm sorry. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, caramba! Man. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> One thing. This means we are German. We are German. Two things. We, we are, are still German. German. Three things. Dracula. Dracula. <laughs> Four things. Italian Bill Clinton. What's the common to go? <laughs> Five things. I think that's room service. Yeah, I think it is. Oh, okay, hold on. Hello. Hello, this is, uh, my name is Miriam. Miriam? Mir Where's, uh, where's Jerry? Miriam Struthers, I'm calling from Pacoima. Pacoima? She's very disappointed. Miriam, hold on, hold on a second, Miriam. Can I have a quiet word? Certainly. It, it, listen, Miriam, if, if you're going to introduce... If that's your real name, yeah, Miriam... That's... Uh, if you're going to introduce a new bit into the show, would you mind running it by me before we start? Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I thought all of this no, was... No, 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 it's, it's fine, Miriam. W what do you got? I thought this was unscripted, you jackass. <laughs> Yeah, but, but a heads up every now and again when someone has a sinus infection, you jackass! Uh, it's kind of hard to tell you when I'm going to do a bit when I'm standing behind a friggin' wall. <laughs> Stop giving away the show, you <laughs> arse. So, what can I do for I you, Miriam? I was just calling to say how concerned I am about your ailment. <laughs> My sinus infection? Yes, I'm very concerned about you. You should take better care of yourself. <laughs> Thank you, Miriam. I feel bad for yelling at you now. Do you have any homespun remedies? I certainly do. What, what are they? Well, you take a sewing needle and jab it in your eye as hard as you can. <laughs> Thanks, Mary. Thank you. I'm still here. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Wow, that, that's an angry lady. Yeah, that's good stuff. Yeah. She must be on Twitter. <laughs> Oh, you know she is. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> all right, this is... Uh, did we do the tweet mail? Time? No, we didn't. we didn't. All right, all right. What time is it, Jimmy? I already told you that. Oh, you did? All right. So, did we do a jingle? No, let's do a jingle. All right, then. Tweet mails. <laughs> all right. Uh, <laughs> or do you want to do, the, want to do a real one? You want to play one? Yeah, we got some. Kill yeah, some. Yeah, all right. Play a jingle. Go on. Yeah. Euro crashes and Euro litter. Head on the dance floor. Plus emails. <laughs> Sorry, I know I was just crying about eating so much ice cream yeah, in the middle yeah. of the night. Fatty <laughs> had a party and nobody came. What a professional show that doesn't cut away to something else while you're wiping your friggin' nose. <laughs> it's really good. <laughs> I know. I know, really. Like, it's not like they don't have a horse or a skeleton you know or I mean? perfectly realistic fire yeah. that they can cut to. Like, why don't you cut to the fire or a band? A band? You're gonna, hey, guys, how you doing? Hey, what's going on, man? How are uh, you? Play a little music for us. Hey, one, yeah. two, one, two, three, hey! Oh. Yeah, feel better. <laughs> wow. They're behind the curtain because they're shy. <laughs> Uh, this is from Joe in Las Vegas, Nevada. He says, uh, Craig, I live in Las Vegas. How can I make a fortune playing the casinos? Well, you just walk in and put your money in down on whatever feels good. <laughs> yeah, I'm talking about the slots. Yeah, or, or anything, really. Really, yeah, anything. Take your money in there, whatever gives you the right feeling, you go and put your money down there. <laughs> You're welcome, casinos. Yeah. <laughs> This is from Stephanie in Chicago, who says, uh, Craig, my latte is tepid. <laughs> then it is, in fact, a correct latte. <laughs> you tell them. You tell them, boss. Yeah, I don't know if that's true. I don't either. Okay. Either. This is from Merritt in Omaha, Nebraska. Dear Craig and Jeff, what have we learned on the show tonight so far? Don't uh, try and blow your nose at any point. <laughs> Also, uh, don't take calls from Miriam. <laughs> she may sound nice, but she doesn't have your best interests at heart. That's correct. <laughs> this is from Adrian and Rainier in uh, uh, Washington. Rainier, Rainier. Yeah, you know, Mount Rainier. Mount, Mount Rainier, Ra yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. But this is just from Rainier. This is not from the mountain part. This is from the flat part. So this is the outskirts of the mountain. Yeah, this is the place where they live on the edge of the volcano. That's right. Right. So this is the... Did you ever see that movie with Piers Morgan as... Not Piers Morgan. Uh, Piers Morgan. 
Yeah, that was a great... Yeah, yeah why not? Yeah. Pierce Morgan was living on the edge of a volcano, and right. he's like, so how, how does it feel to live... Is that Mick Jagger? Mick yeah, Jagger right. was living on the edge of a volcano. Yeah. How does it feel to live on the edge of a volcano? <laughs> And what happened is Piers Morgan bored the volcano to death. <laughs> no, no, no. The volcano erupted and Piers Morgan went on it and it got cancelled. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Yeah, because he's such a likable... Tootsie Fruits. Unbelievable. Damn. Jeez. Jeez. I mean, even Piers Morgan is like, that was a pretty good joke. Yeah, I don't yeah, see any harm yeah. in that. <laughs> Uh, Adrian in uh, Rainier uh, was going to say, uh, Washington says, did you see that London is now more popular with tourists than Paris? Okay. <laughs> why would that concern me? Who, who are these people? I don't know. Even, why did you even write to me like, well, I am absolutely outright. No, I'm delighted because I am not, I'm not from London, so that doesn't matter. And I'm also not from Paris. <laughs> Very exciting facts. Yeah. This is from Quincy in Persephone in New Jersey. I don't know if, uh, if you know Quincy, but it uh, seems to be some sort of owl. Uh, who? Quincy. Uh, who? Quincy. All right, uh, <laughs> Quincy says, uh, are you going to the Super Bowl this year? Uh, much like the New York Jets. <laughs> I am not. <laughs> hey. It's my only sports joke I ever do. It's all you got, man. It's all I got. Uh, and this is from David in Pensacola, Florida, who says, uh, Craig, do you think Secretary is upset because you clearly like Alfredo, Alfredo more now? Are you? No, that's ridiculous. How can... You, do I have to choose between my children? I love all of you. Yeah. All of you equally. I love you, Secretary. I love you, Jeff. I love you, Alfredo Sauce and the Shy Fellas. Thank you very much. Thank you. And the rest of the band, too. Thank you. Hey, thank you very much. Thank you. Hey, thanks a lot. <laughs> I love you, too, also hasn't been used in about a year talking rhino. Still yeah. not talking. <laughs> <laughs> Something might have seized up there, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Uh, yep. Finally, this is from Carla and uh, Mary Mack in New Hampshire, who says, uh, Dear Craig and Jeff, who's in charge of the chocolate coin department, and uh, can I get one or two? Is that a sex thing she's saying? It can be. It we can do be. Often yeah, who's in charge of the chocolate coin department? Yeah, please. I've got the chocolate coins here. Uh, yeah, you can have one. Get close to your television. There you are. Or wait outside the CBS building. <laughs> we'll be right back, everybody. We'll right guest tonight is a very talented comic uh, he's a writer he's an executive producer he's very handsome very sexy very handsome man his new series sirens is he in it i think so no he's not uh <laughs> but he's the executive producer uh it premieres march the 6th on usa take a look at that <laughs> take this opportunity to take over the show because I know how oh. crazy Craig is on a regular day, never mind when he's all hopped up on cold medication. 
So I wanted to push sirens is, uh, you probably have this written down somewhere. What are you doing back there? I'm trying to I'm just throwing show. chocolate coins out the window. Okay. <laughs> He's high. Anyways. Um, Help yourself, uh, everyone! Uh, <laughs> March 6th is Sirens, USA Network. Um, Nothing more interesting going on over here! Okay. And I have, a, I have a movie opening up uh, April 11th called Draft Day. It's a football movie with me and Kevin Costner and Jennifer Garner. And that's all I have to say. See, I just yeah. I what I what I did yeah, was what? I saved you the worry of having to remember that at the end of the segment. I I'm, I'm not interested in remember anything. <laughs> and also, I go and see everything that you do because you know I'm a creepy stalker of yours. I live for your work. I just want to say that back in the old days, <laughs> the sinus infections were different. Yeah, yeah, a little bit. <laughs> we shared a dressing room once at the Edinburgh Festival oh, in the boy. 80s. Oh oh. Oh boy. You want to talk about sinus infections, yeah. ladies and gentlemen. Uh, you want to talk about disappointed Canadians, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. You want to talk about disappointed Scottish people. Yeah, well. Yes. But you know what? I wanted to tell you. Yes. What do you take? Are you one of these people that won't take... No, no, I, I will take. I'm taking... Uh, can I say the name of the medication? Okay, I can't say it. Ay, caramba! Yeah. <laughs> Because yeah, a lot of people, a lot of people, when they when, when they, they get quit, sober, when yeah. they quit drugs and alcohol and get yeah. sober, they don't want to take anything, uh, you know, cold medication because they think they might get, uh, you know, sucked back into the whole. Thing. That's the reason I take it. Yeah, I know. Uh, <laughs> you're looking for the cheap excuse. Yeah, I'm looking for a cheap thrill. Okay. No, I know I'm, I'm very careful about about you know about what you take. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so let me mention a couple of products. Today. Right. Okay. Okay. Now, if there's fans, he, he, he'll bleep them all, though. It just shows you know. Uh, then I'll then I'll make sure I mouth it like a like a puppet. <laughs> Everybody who knows me knows I'm a big fan of Tootsie Fruitsie. Tootsie Fruitsie. Say that. I can say Tootsie Fruitsie. I can say Tootsie Fruitsie. Okay. Tootsie Fruitsie. Martin Luther King Day. <laughs> but anyways, so you won't you won't actually take any medication like no, that. No, no, no. I'll, I'll I won't take any of this. Go alcohol in it, Dennis. I'm an alcoholic. But, this but, is but rather listen, insensitive. But listen of you. to me. No, it's not. <laughs> How much alcohol is there in Tootsie Fruits? <laughs> it's not about how much, man. The it's like a, so if I only put my penis to that law, it's all right. <laughs> all right so wait. So. <laughs> so are you? So you're telling me you're one of those people. Like if you had a bite of rum cake, yeah, you would go on a bender. If I had a bite of rum cake, I la la him up. <laughs> Yeah. I thought you were gonna say I would grog him, <laughs> which, or, which I might do as well. I can't be sure I wouldn't do that. Rum cake, I grog him, then I grog him. <laughs> All right, well, that could be that could really register in the ratings. Yeah, you know? I don't care though, man. Look, look what happened to Leno. Top of the ratings for like 20 years. He's been fired twice, man. I know. Twice. How are his ratings? Too good. Oh, Too okay. good. Obviously, people know he's on. I like to go under the radar, yeah, man. Yeah. Just sneak along, yeah. doing your job. So when you're on, I got a What does that feel like? Nothing. Does yeah. it feel? You know, it gives a, you. A, it gives. A, it relieves a little pressure. Okay, but, but you don't get a buzz. Nah. Uh, nah. Not like the old days. Yeah. Not like. Yeah. The old days. <laughs> Boy, the old days. I yeah, wish you could have the been there. Days, yeah, it was yeah. great. Well, listen, you still do stand up, don't you? Do you still go? I do. I do charity yeah. concerts every fall. Um, I do one for the Cam Neely Foundation in Boston that we do uh, up at the um, Aganis Arena up there, which is fantastic. It's like 10,000 people. I host it. Right. And I bring, it's called Comics Come Home. Yeah. We're going into our 20th year this year. Is and, it old uh, Boston Comics then? Uh, no, it's well. It's the idea was it's people who started in Boston, but also anybody that went through. But yeah, we've had. I've, I've been through Boston a couple. Of I'd times. love I, to have. Next year is my twentieth. I'd love to have you come and do does, it. Does, is uh, Tommy Menino still the, the mayor? No, of no, he's he's uh, just retired. Oh, he has. Yeah, I got on well with him. Did you really? Yeah, yeah. He introduced me. I, I spoke at Fanny but Hall. They with... can barely understand. Yeah, yeah. I know. He said <laughs> he's he the said, mayor of Boston. The mayor of Boston, and, and he, he can like... barely even people from Boston can barely understand him. His nickname is Mumbles. Yeah. Right? <laughs> He said, he introduced me at Fanny Hall. I was speaking of 4th of July. I'd just become a citizen, and he went, this guy's on TV. <laughs> well, he, he wasn't wrong. Yeah, I was like, go for the big build-up, yeah, Tommy. Right. And I come out, and all, the, all these Bostonians are like, oh, I would, man, I would man. love to have you at that gig. Yeah, yeah, I'll do it. My 20th is next year, which is the longest-running um, comedy benefit show in, in America now. Um, wow. And I've had, I've had everybody on. I mean, it's, yeah, yeah. It's great. Um, and you'll love it. It's yeah, great. no, I like yeah. it. I like I got family in Boston. And all you have to do, you do like 10, 15 minutes, and it's, you know. I, I, I got to do more than that. No. Yeah. I, I got a lot of guys. But you know what? For I you, hear that. But what about your comedy career? <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Walked right into that one. Um, 
I'll make an exception for you, but I would love to have you. I hate no, to no. do this in front of in front of an audience and make you. Oh, these people aren't paying any attention. Okay, and you're yeah. and you're high too, so you could always claim you're oh, high. Oh, that's true. Though. I'm very high on unspecified medication. Um, well, I was going to ask you something else. Uh, Damn, here it is. Yeah, I just remembered. Okay, because uh, I have kind of uh, Alzheimer's runs in my family. I think I'm starting to get it now. Really? So Seriously? sometimes I'm going to skip around here. Okay. But, you know, this is coming up. This is funny that I asked you to do the 20th anniversary of the Cam Neely right. uh, event. Um, oh, I forgot to mention we also do the Michael J. Fox Parkinson's. <laughs> Alzheimer's. Sorry. Um, uh, I, we do the Alzheimer's. The Alzheimer's. The <laughs> <laughs> Hold on a second. <coughs> Stay right now. Stay right now. Stay right now. Oh. You know, it's not okay to laugh at <laughs> I do the Michael J. Fox Alzheimer's Parkinson's benefit, yeah. which is for people with Parkinson's but who forget they have it. All right, okay. Oh, my God. I mean, it would. Uh, it's all right, man. It can imagine, if, it's okay. imagine if you had Parkinson's and you actually forgot that you had it. Well, you know, the, the, I don't want to get involved in whatever you're doing to yourself. <laughs> but why, why did I mention well, that? Well, you were going to ask me something. Oh, oh yeah, all right. Yeah. I was going to tell you. This is coming up on our 24th, not 25th, 25th, uh, 24th year we've, um, we've known each other. Uh, we met in 1990, and this is 2014. Wow. I was thinking about that backstage. I went into rehab in 1992. Yeah. Which means I have no recollection of meeting you in 19. <laughs> but fortunately, there's about 20 other comedians who do oh, remember Oh, they were there. Playing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, it was 24 years ago, man. That's crazy. Amazing, man. right? Yeah, yeah. And who would have thought that you'd be here? Alive. Yeah, yeah. I know, man. I know. I mean, look yeah. at the two of us. I know, it's crazy. Like, we're here now as a miracle and with our hair. I mean, come on. <laughs> you know? That's true. Amazing. Yeah. Amazing. We have good hair. You, you, yeah, you know, if you had, if you had told me while you were high back in 1990 that one day I'm going to host my own show in America with a puppet horse and a talking skeleton, I probably would have believed you. <laughs> <laughs> we were right back with that in Larry. We're down that road of I'm never getting married. I'm oh, right. yeah. oh hey, hang on. Are we on? Yeah, 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 yeah. Are we back? Yeah, yeah. Oh, he's hi. telling me something really private. It was something very private about, about Frank. About a friend of ours. Yeah. Frank Skinner. Famous. Frank Skinner's a British comedian. I haven't seen Frank in a long time. Very famous comedian. Very and, famous. By in the way, Frank could be watching this. And so Frank, hi. And uh, and he's and Frank's never not from me, Frank. Oh, come Just on. Just from Dad. <laughs> no, he's a lovely guy, Frank. Lovely hi, guy. Frank. And one of the funniest people on the planet. Now he's a dad. Are we really back live on TV? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, that was the shortest commercial break. I feel like I'm high now. What are you doing? <laughs> Uh-oh. No, no, no. What happens is that in many uh, places throughout the country, people fast forward through the commercial breaks, and it has an effect right here. Oh, it does it really? Yeah. I like it. I like it. I like it. Yeah. Now, I want you to know something else. What? And this is going to sound like I'm stalking you. Okay. But this is the truth. Yeah. And I want to say it to you okay. right now. It's Crikey. So, no, I'm kidding. All right. <laughs> You gave me one of these mugs yeah, yeah, yeah. after the uh, show one time, because I collect mugs from talk shows. I have a ton of them now. And I didn't have one from him, and he gave me that. And I unfortunately think of you every single morning, because in the apartment in New York, my daughter lives with us, and yeah. she puts the... That was not allowed to be a drinking mug. She puts these little um, espresso pods in there. Oh, yeah? And that's like where, we, where, we, where you take them out and put them in the machine. So every morning I take one out and I go, Craig Ferguson. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't that uh, nice? How's your daughter? Yeah, Dennis? she's very good. Stay away yeah. from her. Yeah, Stay she's away looking from her. cute. Stay away from her. <laughs> Man, you How's your family, by the yeah, way? Yeah, they're all right. The little one's got an ear infection. Again. Yeah. No, that's bad when oh. you're a kid. Yeah, that, yeah. thank you. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Thanks for the faith. Yeah, that, that, oh. That'll really help. Yeah. How, how, uh, how... I think what, you know, it's the first year of preschool for the youngest one. He's three, right? right. So what happens is it's the circle of life with germs. Yes. Like, he goes into preschool, brings back home ah. all the crap. We get it. He gets free of it, goes back to school, yeah. comes back home. We've got it. We those, go, ah, ah. He goes kids, back to... The... Those kids are germ factories, oh, you know? Oh, unbelievable. And then they just... You know what they do? My kids are adults now, and they're still living at home. They just suck all your money up and all your food, and <laughs> they suck the life right out of you. They you know do, what I mean? Man. They you realize that they're just going to take over everything and leave you just this empty shell, you know? <laughs> and you know what? I'm happy to That's do okay. it. That's okay. That's fine. That's the weird thing, right? I know. I know. 
It really yeah. is true. I know. How many you got now? My my son will be 24. Yeah, because he was born. Uh, my son was you born were, that summer remember, in Edinburgh, yeah. in London, and he was in Edinburgh with us. Yeah. Uh, he wasn't hanging out with us. You know? No, no. And uh, <laughs> thank God. Yeah. Uh, and my daughter is 22 this year. So wow, that's my fantastic. Kids are you, you, I mean, you you've been married now 25 years. That's amazing. 25 years and, and in show business. And we've been together for. I can't do the math, like 30 or something like that. Wow. I know. Can you imagine? Yeah, that's amazing. You know what's amazing? You know what's amazing? Yeah, but What's truly amazing is that some woman actually <laughs> put up with me that's for that what long. That's I'm thinking. You I know, mean, I mean, so you, I, but I see, I, I'm, I have always had a suspicion that you're not quite as crazy at home as you are when you go out. You know what? I'm not. I don't I'm not. Think you are. I and think it, you're like you know, like you're like a proper dude. Like you sit down. There's yeah. Sports on TV. You watch. Yeah, I'm pretty. Well, I'm pretty crazy with the sports. But you know what? I also I've mellowed a little bit. Oh yeah, I've mellowed. No, don't say fruits. I know. <laughs> oh really? I hadn't noticed. The place is I, still standing. <laughs> I have not. I was thinking of this the other day. The last time I I attempted to either punch or pull a cab driver out of a, his driver's side window in New York was about seven or eight years ago. God bless you. Yeah, that's, I know. That's and, and I count that as a major... Uh, that, that I tell you, you know yeah. what that is? That's spiritual healing. It really friend. is. <laughs> but I'd like to just try it again soon, just for don't, the, man, for don't. all time's sake. No, you know don't. I mean? See, what happens is... You have to be in a rage to do it. I'm, well, a black, I'm an Irishman that goes into a black rage, and then I can destroy entire neighborhoods, but I can't do it unless I'm in the black rage. Yeah, I, you, know? you know, I really wish you hadn't said that on Martin Luther King Day. <laughs> Which is interesting as the audience has no idea how to feel about this. <laughs> and neither do I. Well, I did mention that it was an Irish thing. You know? Okay, okay. Right? Yeah, and look. Watch, and watch this segue. You know, folks, I like to judge people. <laughs> Not by the color of their skin. Okay. But by the content of their character. Oh, hey, okay. That's right. And when I met Craig oh, 24 no. See, years yeah, ago, no. I said, here is a Dumbledore balloon. <laughs> That I... is Larry, everyone. Oh yeah. What did we learn on the show tonight, Greg? <laughs> <laughs> so let me ask you, uh, we're trying to give you a sense of perspective. <laughs> so, uh, what do you think, D uh, Jeff? Uh, if I uh, stand by the fire, will it help my sinus infection or hurt it? Well, it'll clear you out. It'll certainly warm your testicles, I think. It's... Yeah, my testicles aren't in my face. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> but they could be. Thanks, Kundalini Yoga. Uh, come on over here. Stop freaking people out. <laughs> Anyway, look, I'll go to the doctor tomorrow morning and uh, I'll keep you updated, Canadians. I don't want to not go to Canada, man. Well, that would be bad. There. you got to go there. You know they'd be mad. Yeah, but they won't, they won't let you know. That no, they won't. The they won't let you know, but they would never forget. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> and then one night you'd be, you know, you'd be years later, you'd think, well, that's all behind us now, and you'd be enjoying some bacon <laughs> or some form of syrup. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Listening, be listening like, to Celine Dion, yeah. Celine Dion, right. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Apologizing. Sure, yeah. Uh, wearing plaid. Plaid, lots Enjoying of ice hockey. Yeah. Anything else so we can stereotype the Canadians That's about? That's pretty good. That's it. Maybe you're, uh, you're, you're wrapped in uh, maple leaves. <laughs> fully nude. Do you believe this? Fully, he, fully he, nude. He's Canadian. What the heck? What? Yeah. <laughs> Can't you tell by his scarf? Oh, my God. <laughs> This is a major revelation. <laughs> well, there you are then. So I'll go to the doctor tomorrow. Join us tomorrow night when we'll have news of how I am.